don't need to talk to him. He's like, he's crying. So Wavy adds him to the call, and he's like, look, I'm not recording. Put your penis back inside. What the fuck is wrong with you? That is disgusting. You should be ashamed. Any fucking ways. Um, bro, stop it. I don't like seeing that shit. You're sexually assaulting me. Go in the other room. Now. Stop. Now you looking all innocent and shit. Ugh. Fucking pedophile dog. Anyway. Goddamn. Back to what I was saying. So, he gets on the call, and he's basically crying and shit, Talk about, oh, I, I promise you I'm not recording, I'll show my spare phone. So, he's showing the spare phone, I'm like, nigga, I don't give a fuck if you is recording, what's good? He talk about, I'll get on a flight right now to Miami, pick me up in at the airport. I'm like, excuse me, he's like, I need to link with you, I need to have a face-to-face, we need to talk. I'm like, oh, why, so you could try to set me up, nigga? Come with security, and I'll come with security, and then we can meet up and talk, nigga. Mind you, my security was finna kill his ass, I'm not even gonna lie, I was finna have that nigga shot the fuck up, and yes, I'm saying it yes y'all can record me that nigga when i see him he will be dead and that's that i don't give a fuck that nigga is a weirdo he doesn't deserve to live so then he's talking about tell me the truth would do you want to be be with me or not i'm like what the fuck do you mean do i want to be with you or not and he's like i need you to tell me right now do you want to be with me i said no he's like are you sure nigga what the fuck do i want to be with you for uh, he's like oh she's acting hard because you're on the phone with you i need to call her solo so he hangs up and then he calls me solo and he's like xena i don't care about you exposing me i don't care about none of this i just want the truth so i'm like okay i'm listening and he's like i need you to tell me the truth right now do we have a chance can we be together again i said no i told him i'm fucking another nigga he's like i don't believe that i'm like bro i swear on my dead best friend crystal i swear on my mother's life whom y'all know I keep out the public eye for a reason because she's important. Like, that is my that's that is my God. And I swore on her life. I fuck someone else. I don't want you. I never actually wanted you. Like, I had to assume this role because once I... That's just the type of person I am. Once I see somebody and I see the, the, the dirty, nasty shit they doing, I'm going to stick around because I'm going to build up a case against you. I'm going to. I seen the fake shit from the beginning. I seen how he would talk down on Aaron and all of this and then be calling and stressing and shaking, trying to get Aaron's attention to go live or be around Aaron. Like, I need this. He, he, he. I deserve this. I deserve this. And I'm watching like, yo, so the way he's acting about this nigga is the same way he acted about me. That's that. So I knew he was trying to use me for clout and everything like that. So I was like, you know what? I got something for you. And that's it. Oh, we only fucked about seven times. So for people being like, oh, but you were fucking him. No, we fucked seven times. And each time I recorded it for some OnlyFans. And it was trash. It was fucking trash. So I benefited in the sense of, okay, I wanted some content. He has a, a long dick. He don't know how to use it. He's weak as fuck. He's skinny as fuck. Like, he's so skinny. It's it's disgusting. Like, it's scary. He's skinnier than my friend's seven-year-old daughter. He could fit her fucking shirts. It's creepy. Now, moving along from there. So I told him. I said, you know, the night that you was blowing me up before I started exposing you, the night you blew up my phone talking about I'm fucking somebody else, enjoy fucking them, and how I hurt you and broke your heart. He's like, yeah. I said, I want you to know you actually were right. I don't know how you knew, but I sure as fuck was fucking someone. And he goes, what? And I was like, just the same way you had a feeling I was fucking someone, that's the same feeling I've been had, and I've been having my my, my uh, prophetic dreams about you and Melanie. I'm not no idiot. I was the first one who called it, and your friend confirmed it, bitch. And he's like... I'm like, you keep getting caught up in little ass lies. First, it's old Melanie flew in next. But your friend picked both you up from the airport. Why would y'all fly on different flights when y'all going to the same place together? People would book flights together. He's like, I just didn't want you. Okay, so you're admitting that you lied about that. Meaning you lied about every fucking thing. Because nothing you say comes out your mouth is the truth when you lie about every fucking thing. Stop. The littlest, most stupidest shit you lie about. So anyway... I had told him, I said, yes, I've been fucking someone that night, Friday night, I got my brains blown the fuck out. And then Saturday night, the next day, I'm fucking the same nigga again. And now he knows the niggas I'm around now. I work for the Fresh and Fit podcast. Everybody knows that. That's what I do. That's why I don't care about all this other shit. Like, I have my own shit. I'm signed to Empire. I have a label deal. He does it. He was mad about that. He got mad I had the no jumper interview. He was trying to get on it. He was mad I didn't talk about him or shot him out on Fresh and Fit or no jumper. He's mad that academics is my dog and wants to do streams with me. He's mad about all the people that I'm surrounded with. Now, he knows how I think about low-value meals, and I get on him all the time, and he's like, you always devalue me and speak down on me because I'm a real-ass bitch. You really think I'm going to hype you up and use a fucking loser? It is a privilege that you are around me, and that's not me. I want to be humble, but I'm also very real. I'm not delusional. In comparison to any bitch he's ever been around, 
I am the hierarchy. Nigga, what the fuck? I'm not gonna hype you up when you are beneath me. You are a peasant. You are beneath me. I make more money than you. And as a woman, no woman is gonna respect any male that doesn't make more money than her. No woman is gonna respect a simp. No woman is gonna respect the fucking loser ass cry baby nigga who cries about everything and shakes in the corner, balled up on the ground, sobbing with snot coming out his nose. That is disgusting. That is not an alpha male. I would never respect you. Ever. Hey, Lena, may I ask you a question? Can I ask what your kind of breaking point with him was? Because, you know, obviously, I mean, up, up until a certain point, you guys were kind of okay with we each other. Never, what was your breaking we were never, point? But thank you for saying that because I played my cards right and I'm truly a good actress. But no, we were never okay. Since. What really happened is I would say the breaking point was the embarrassment of him returning the BMW. That's when I, I realized this man is absolutely nothing. But actually, no, it was before that when I kicked him out of my hotel in Miami. So we met up July 30th, hung out. He's flexing. He had a little bit of money. I'd say he maybe had like $1,100 he was spending on me. Okay. He was driving around his friend's car. That's red flag number one. First, he said he'll pick me up from that. I was cool with him. Like he was my friend. I was like, yeah, we cool. I was even cool with his baby mama. He's like, yeah, I'll pick you up from the airport. I'm like, okay, mind you, I had friends wait, waiting on me, but they weren't ready at the time. I'm like, they'll be ready in about 30 minutes. He's like, oh, I'll be there. It took him almost two hours anyway, so I could have just went to my friends. He said, I'm picking you up with the Beamer. Man pulls up in a Toyota, which ain't no issue because, I mean, a car is a car, but he said he was getting a BMW. He pulls up in a Toyota talking about, oh, oh, he had to give his other friend the BMW. I'm like, okay, I don't care. So we're hanging out. He want to go here, go here. We go to uh, a Beverly Hills mansion party. The people barely know him. He's getting on the phone talking about to his manager at the time, Eric, talk, and it's Eric's friends talking about, make sure they know I'm the artist and that they take care of me and respect me. I have a lady with me. And I'm like, what? Why does he have to do all of that? Long story short, like nobody knew who he was when he went into the little party. I got my pictures. That's the pictures I have in the bikini with the strawberry outfit. He took them of me. Those the only good thing he did. Cool. Okay, after that, like I just started peeping game like, he just was living off of people. He had nowhere to live. Um, I had my own Airbnb. The first night, I felt bad because it was like 5 a.m. And he was going to have to drive two hours back. Now, I'm feeling bad. Like, yo, this is my dog. He's he's tired. I had only one bedroom. But I was like, okay, you could stay. And I put the pillow between us. I was like, you could stay here. He was already trying to rub on me and cuddle on me. And I was like, what are you doing? He's like, it's just for affection. I'm like, I'm not fucking you. He goes, no, I didn't even say that. Then why do you have condoms in your bag that you picked up this day? stop but i didn't say nothing about that till later and then he's like it was just a thought because I, I i wasn't sure anything could happen yeah okay you contradict yourself all the time saying you don't think about sex but you went and bought condoms nigga you was trying to fuck anyway i rejected him i made him go on the other side of the bed put the pillows between us why i find out later because he sends it to me thinking he's cute like i i really like you he took a picture of him sleeping in the bed next to me as to insinuate that we fucked or something. And that never happened until a month later. So mind you, I'm like, okay, I'm peeping game. Like, all right, whatever. Maybe the nigga's just a loser. He got a crush on me. You know, I'm a, you know how mean girls are sometimes. We like the attention. Like, okay, I'll play with him for a bit. So, and I'm just keeping it real. Like, y'all could take it any way you want. I am going to be real. No matter how fucked up I sound, I'm going to be 100% real about myself. So... Then when I'm, he's like, oh, come stay with me. Come meet my people. I go meet Big Drift in them. Big Drift is cool people. That's my people even to this day. He's sleeping in a room on a little bed that Big Drift is like, you can stay here for free, basically. That's how he's living. Nigga don't got his own home. Nigga's living out of a suitcase. I'm peeping all of this like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And I just started seeing these tendencies. But what really did it was when he called me when I was in Miami. I left. Because mind you, I went to San Francisco to fuck my favorite artist, Dominic Fike. Like, I, uh, there's just a bunch of shit I was doing because I didn't care about him. When I get back to Miami, because I was flying private jets, I get back to Miami, he calls me crying, talk about how his baby mama ran off and he needs help. So, hold on, somebody keeps texting me. Hold on. I'm on the phone. Anyway, hold on. They just told me Andrew Tate is back. Hold on. That's my baby. Wait a second. Hold on, guys. Don't let me just check this real quick. Um, yeah, Zena, if you need to, yeah, if you want to mute yourself, we can kind of chat amongst ourselves for a little bit. They saying Andrew Tate is back. Where is he back? Okay, anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. Um, Zena, like, I saw you on the Joker, the Joker live, obviously, because that was the day that you kind of, like, responded to me. It was, like, that night. 
when you responded to me on Twitter um, and I commented on everything from that Joker live. Was that like the night like you just had it? Because that was the day of the sway conversation on, you know, that he did. Wait, wait, was wait. that just Let the final straw? I'm going to answer that. Hold that question so I can get back to um, what I was saying. So I flew him out out of $500 for him to get to an empty home that he claimed he bought that home. Come to find out his baby mom's mom is the one who had the home under her name and it was um, they were getting evicted. All his shit was ransacked and gone. The car was gone. Everything was gone that was under his baby mom's name. Never his. But whatever. And apparently she stole eight bands, but she's texting him talking about how they're broke and he never feeds the kids or gives them anything. So I'm like, what money did she steal? Because it's like, why is she struggling? If she stole eight bands, she should be able to do something, you know? That's not it. And then fucking, um, so he's like, I'm like, okay, if you got to go find your family, go find your family. Instead, you know what he does? Gives up on his family. He always says this, and he said it on live. It's on YouTube, too. He's like, I gave up my family for Xena. Like, you gave up your kids for me? That's that's a red flag, nigga. I could never take you serious. So then he comes to Miami, which I paid for again. He always promised to pay me back. Big Mike, I mean, not Big Mike. Mike paid, Mike paid me back, not him. He owes Mike over $600. And that's just, that's just a little bit. He really owes him more than that, but they're just not being petty about it. He owes him thousands. Anyway. I'm paying for the hotels. He's acting like the hotel people know him and are giving a discount when I'm, like, mad about the AC not working. He's like, yeah, they're giving us two nights for free. They gave us one night for free. He's going down there, coming back up with lies, saying, yeah, they're saying um, you could pay for one night and another night will be free each time. The whole time I'm paying for all of it. I racked up over $700 for only one night to have been free. I would not have stayed in that hotel when I had a home to myself. I have places to be. What the fuck am I renting a hotel for you for? And I went the fuck off. I kicked it. I was like, get the fuck out of my hotel. I need you to fucking go. Like, I don't want you here. Like, you are a nobody. He was a weak-ass, loser-ass nigga. And he broke down crying. Talking about how his baby mama used to beat him. And everybody treats him like shit. His own mom treated him like shit. Like, just all this guilt me, woe is me shit. He's a victim. He's the most victimized, sad-ass little bitch in the world. It's disgusting. Disgusting. Just like the video he posted of him chasing me down the street and getting punched in the face. Because, bitch, ain't no nigga finna keep recording me and chasing me and not get hit. Just like my lawyer said, I was completely justified. Nigga, you are chasing me. You can't claim assault when you're chasing someone and they retaliate. You're attacking me. Just, just because and you, you said that was the day he lost the check, right? Yes, and that's what he was freaking out about because Lyft would not pick up and they were saying there's nothing we could do, call the cops. And he's like, What? Let me see, trying to grab my phone. I'm like, Bro, I'm showing you the fucking messages. You ain't taking my phone. Get the fuck away from me. And then that's when I finally gave up and I walked away and he started freaking out on me, saying I stole from him. You you guys see what he posted saying I stole from him. In this video, you could see her stealing. Ain't nobody stole shit, bitch. And that's why we got the other video of his testimony on the one chip challenge where I laughed at him for saying he has the check framed. Bitch, you know damn well you don't have that check. And you know damn well that Aaron Carter told you not to cash the check because it's linked to no bank account. That bank is closed. And he was pissed calling Aaron a piece of shit because he could never cash the check. He never could well, cash the check. Well, he even had posted Aaron that check. That was check. for 2023. No. Aaron wrote the... No, that's not even true either. Aaron wrote the check as a promise that maybe he'll sign him. There was never a check to actually be cashed. It wasn't even notarized. The check was never notarized. It was fake. There was no bank link to it. And he knows that. His broke ass knows damn well if he got a check for even if $5,000, he is cashing it. I don't give a fuck if goddamn Michael Jackson himself gave him the check. That broke ass motherfucker would be cashing that shit. The nigga got $20 to his fucking name, if that. I've seen his bank accounts. I've seen how overdrafted his shit gets that he has to dispute just to get a cheeseburger. I've been there. And that's why I stuck by because people need to see this shit. This nigga be faking it. So that's why I stuck by and assumed that role, acted like I gave a fucking and kept that role so that I could really gather my info because I knew, yo, I before this year is up, I'm finna show everybody what the fuck is really up with this nigga. Like, I'm tired of these fake fucking flexes off for the internet. Like, that's why, like, I want, like, my podcast is going to be about exposing people. I don't care. Some people need to be exposed. Like, people are weird on this internet shit, and it's fucking sad and delusional. So, my reality hit when I told him he needs to get the fuck out of my hotel room, and he had no fucking money and nowhere to go, and had to beg people for money just to get a flight back to California. I was disgusted with him. And then when I went to California again, I wasn't going to California for him. I had a whole, when I still do, a whole rich-ass millionaire who I've not even fucked yet. 
and he's obsessed with me, taking care of, like, oh, I got this for you. I'm doing this, buying me Christmas gifts and everything. That's who I went to California for, and Check was all pissed. That's all the messages I have of him being like, you're fucking another nigga, and oh, come back to me when you're done with him. You'll see I'm the only one for you. Like, weird shit. Like, nigga, you're broke. I got a nigga that's not even asking for sex, taking care of me, and calling you a broke-ass nigga. Now, I never mess with this dude because he's, he's a really good guy. I've never messed with him, though. And then... I have another guy I recently started talking to. I mean, I've known him because of work and shit. But, like, I work for Fresh and Fit Podcast. The only people they associate with are the same people in their social circle. And they are all high-value men. All right? We got Andrew Tate. We have Talisman Tate. We have, Ke- well, Kevin Samuels passed away, unfortunately. But I knew Kevin Samuels as well. Like, I'm in a circle of people that are of success, own businesses, and are millionaires with net worths of at least $30 million. You really think I give a fuck about Check the Fucking No Star? You know, I mean, I ask, I know his that, um, you know, that's fake. His verification is fake. His followers, yeah. he has 90K fake followers. And I know this because his original account, his baby mama got banned because he gave it to his baby mom and she got it banned because she was being dumb posting nudity. He made that check the star account and had to bot it to 90K because he no longer had that old account. Then he got a fake check mark because of Aaron Carter and he had his press team run press saying he got signed by Aaron Carter when there was no actual news. TMZ never posted that because nobody gave a fuck if Aaron Carter signed goddamn a rabbit. That would never make headlines. He wasn't a headline guy until he died. May I ask, Cena, we know that that check from Aaron was fake, but was Aaron actually giving check any money? No. The one thing he ever did was give him a pair of earrings to borrow. That's it. And check still has them in his oh. Yeah, those are the ones you were talking about the other day. That's, like, the only real jewelry he has. That's the only real jewelry he has. He keeps flexing a watch he ain't paid for, claiming it's real. But, nigga, your kids is hungry. How could you fly to Arizona and claim you about to go work on your family when the bitch got a whole nigga taking care of her uh, as much as he can? And at the same time, you, you... You have no money to give your children. They're wearing dirty clothes. And I don't mean to bring kids into it, but I'm a savage. I really give no fucks. Your kids is dirty, messy, smelly, and living a very unlavish life. So your baby mama should, way... not, should not work. Ooh. If a man has children, yeah. his baby mother should not have to work. I don't care what he says. And I, mean to, I, I do not mean to offend anyone. But that's why I had the two abortions. I will never have children and bring them into this world if I don't know for facts those kids will be fucking taken care of. My kids, when I decide to have children, they're going to be spoiled. They're going to have the options to travel the fucking world. They will never have to work a day in their life until they are 18. Then I will tell them to get it out the mud if they want any of their trust fund. That's the type of mother I want to be. I don't give a fuck. No mother should have to work if she's not a single mother. Then no mother should have to work while having a whole man. That man is to provide for the woman and the children. And that's my views, and so, nobody can tell me different. That nigga is a bum. So, Chex, did Chex ex move from Florida to Arizona to be with this guy? Yes, yeah, she ran away because he was broke as fuck, and then trying to flex him being with me and stuff like that. Mind you, yeah, that's here's awful. how it all started. Me and Chex were pretending to fake a relationship because he was trying to get press off my face. And he was like, oh, if, if we do press release, you could get verified. He's like, I'll help you get verified. That's how he was doing all of it. He's like, we could do a whole bunch of press articles and act like, oh, we got caught by TMZ and we're dating and this is that and third. I'm like, but who are you? Like, nobody cares about you. He's like, but but people know me because of Aaron Carter and it'll break the headlines. Like, what? Nigga, I've never even seen you on no headlines unless you send me a fucking link. I never see you anywhere. Still, to this day. Hey, Zena, I have a question. Um, regarding the Lately song, do you know or have, like, any, like, receipts on check leaking the well, Lately it song sounds with like Aaron it's a World good thing that you... Bro, he begged Aaron to re- that he could release it, and then Aaron finally was like, okay, go ahead. That's what happened with that. Yeah, see, I knew he begged Aaron, but I know he leaked it to World Star, and I want receipts for that. <laughs> So what is the current relationship between Chuck and the whole Joker gang? Because it seemed like y'all were like super pissed that he didn't even acknowledge you guys. Or at least give like appreciation toward what Joker had done for him. Hold on. Um, what was the question? 
what is the current relationship between like you and the Joker gang and with Chuck? Is is, is Joker I'm, pretty upset that, I'm about no? Gang. I'm actually cool with Joker gang, but like yeah. I don't really, I don't really know. Were they, um, were they pissed about the whole Sway interview and how he just acknowledged Mel and and, and Prince? Yeah, I mean that's all he did because that's all he wanted was views. Was that the final straw, Zima? That whole like just the way like he was lying on no, there. No, because and he was just... lying on there the whole time, and I knew he was gonna lie. That's the thing. That's why I called in, mind you. He's like, "Oh, she got no recognition, nigga." When you watch back that radio play, they said Zena the witch is on the phone. Zena the witch, what do you have to say, bitch? At least my name got sued and get said, and no jump right on. Oh, and that's what you was crying for. Mind you, I did it to shake him. And I shook the fuck out of him. It's on YouTube. He looks so scared when he heard my name. He looks so shook. And that's all I wanted. I didn't even know that I could talk. I thought Sway was going to pass the message. And I told Sway, oh, tell him Zena the witch said she's proud of him. That's what I said. Because I was being petty. I didn't know he was going to try to make me talk. But either way, I know when he said my name, I knew he was going to be shook. And that's all that I wanted was to see him shook off his rocks. And that's exactly what I did. You have so much info on him. Like, it's just, I mean, you like know everything that went on here. And, you know, someone, many of us are in the dark because obviously what he was saying was not the truth. No, he's just a mess. Like, I don't, he's disgusting. I just have so much and I still keep going through my phone and like scrolling through messages and dates. And I'm just like... I just keep seeing other shit like, oh, here's this. Oh, here's that. Oh, here's this. And like screenshotting it like, damn, I forgot this part. Oh, I forgot this part. And it's just more and more and more. And I just so, keep finding more and more. You, know, you had said that he stole stuff. And I know you posted that charm, which was rather interesting. What else okay, did and this he is how take? Stupid he is. I don't know what else he took, but he took a whole bunch of shit, such as clothing. So he took that jacket that he was wearing? Um, I think so, yeah. He took a bunch of clothing. Let's be real. He literally said, watch, Aaron's clothes. I'm about to search the word Aaron's clothes. <coughs> Zena, you had mentioned on your live today that when you went and had lunch with Melanie and Aaron and a few other people, um, that they were, Aaron and Check excused themselves to go do look, 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 something. Look, 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 wait, 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 wait. He said, I'm going to try and borrow Aaron's coat. Here we go. Let me post this. What the hell? This Just he has no shame. Everybody. I come with everyone. I come with. He everyone. has no shame. It's like he I could just posted it. Go on, go on, um, Instagram. Go on my story. I just posted it. He said, "I'm gonna try to borrow Aaron's coat, the chinchilla coat." Let's see. Uh huh. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting that. Interesting. Interesting that. So, Zena, if I may, and you don't have to go any deeper into this if you don't want to, but you had mentioned that when you were having uh, dinner with Aaron and Melanie the first time you met Aaron, Chuck and Aaron excused themselves from the table to go do something, and you had alluded to it was drugs. So they were Chuck has drugs. always maintained that he never did drugs and that he never he's saw Aaron liar. do drugs. The man does drugs. That's why I have all the fucking times he's literally addicted to his prescription drugs. Yeah, those texts you posted are very interesting. He's addicted to prescription fucking drugs. Like, he's addicted. He's always on fucking Xanax, and everybody fucking knows it. Everybody. Do you know who gave Aaron the lean? I don't know. Probably Check. All I know is Check definitely was an enabler. That's I would get on his ass, too. Like, why would you be laughing at that man taking drugs? Like, your friend is addicted, and you laughing at him putting pills on his tongue. He's like, oh, I was just uncomfortable. Bitch, when I'm uncomfortable, I excuse myself immediately. I ain't going to laugh. I'm going to be like, yo, guys, fuck this. And I'm gone. I'm going to speak up. I ain't going to laugh and look like an idiot. Like, ha, 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 you crazy, bro. And then claim you called later. Bitch never called later. I was with him. He never called later. I was with him. Well, what's crazier is you had mentioned that they were doing, they were huffing together. And that, we that just blows together. my mind. They were popping pills together. The Xanaxes they were doing together. Check was getting them fucking yellow little Xanaxes from Aaron and taking them with Aaron. Whole time at that house when he stayed there for almost three months mooching off of Aaron, he was doing fucking drugs with him. Hey, Zena, does Check have his own prescription for Xanax? That's crazy. Yeah, he does have his own prescription as well. 
And that's he keeps bottles ah. of pills in his pockets. He keeps bottles of pills in his fucking pockets. Like he's addicted to the fucking drugs. And what he likes to do is go sober for like six or seven days because you know you build up a tolerance. As soon as that seven day hits and he's like kind of got it out of his system, he pops like ten of them so that he could feel it. That's what he does. Yeah, see, I, see, I wow. knew there was like a connection because I feel That's pretty like unreal. Aaron... so. What I, so, I mean, I think another interesting thing too is you know you talking about how Chuck was reacting after Aaron died and how just absolutely bizarre and unusual that is that he was going on live and crying and carrying on in the manner he was. It just, to, I think, to all of us that are listening just anything that he ever did in his reactions to those were so completely and totally inappropriate and just fake. The man said when he goes on Sway in the morning, he was going to be the most famous celebrity in the world. Hold on. I have some of these audios. Let me see what I can pull up. I have so much. Like, he's just a weirdo. Look, I would fake cry to him and everything. Like, I'm just not stupid. Like, just to get him to say shit. And he's just Yeah, hey, and... And I knew, like, I knew there was a reason. There was, like, some kind of connection with the drugs and Chuck and Aaron and Aaron flying him out. Because, let's be honest, Aaron was an addict. He probably was using Chuck. Like, they were using each other. And if Aaron was sober, he would not look at Chuck. Every time that Aaron was sober, he would cut off Chuck and not fuck with Chuck at all and unfollow Chuck. How many times has people been like, why did Aaron Carter unfollow you? Every time Aaron Carter went sober, he unfollowed Chuck and blocked him. And he would blow him up like, why are you being like this? What's going on? And then try to fill his head and say, Melanie's getting to him. That's what he would do. Zima, do you know know if Melanie and Chuck had communication prior to to uh, Chuck meeting Aaron? No, they never knew each other before fucking... No, they never knew each other. Aaron Carter's the only way that they ever knew each other. He never knew her. Hold on. Hold on one second, Zina. Hey guys, I know you're trying to request, but I just we just kind of want to like let Zena speak her mind and stuff. So I'm just gonna deny the request at this time until and I'll let her decide if she wants to take questions from other people. So we just want to kind of keep this like an open conversation. So I'm sorry if I'm denying, but I just want Zena to kind of speak her mind and then let feel free and myself and Catalyst kind of ask questions at this time. Hey, and just to add to that, if you guys want to put your questions, yeah, if you have in questions, chat, you guys post them in the comments and we'll ask Zena for you. Yeah, I tag Zena in the in the comment section. So if you want to reply to that tweet and she can answer them when she wants to or later. Yeah, that would be awesome. Zena, go ahead. I apologize for that. Um So at this moment, I know I know like you had sent to me the whole thing where he's requesting for like you to come back into his life and stuff. Is he still texting you like today because like you kind of like today, bombarded no. me with all that and i was like holy Mind shit you, no, i wasn't even don't. the thing is i was just gonna leave it alone because i honestly just feel like he's dirty and not worth my time and i have so much good shit going on and at the same time <sighs> this reflects off me what i got going on because i don't want this to be my character when i'm dealing with somebody of like high value i don't want them to be like damn the second she's mad at me she's gonna do this to me like you know yeah. what i'm saying even though like it's different because i respect these people like i actually respect these people so this could never happen he could nigga could piss me off but guess what i'm gonna do no one will ever know. I'm going to stay quiet and fucking cry in the room. But the point is, that's why I was like, damn, I kind of don't even want to keep speaking on this because I don't want this to reflect on my character so that this man thinks this, that, that, and third. But I was going to just let it go and let that shit die out and watch how his views went back down to 30 unless he's talking about Aaron, maybe 100. And as of right now, he's getting views because of me. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to just stop giving him attention. But... He posted today talking some shit again, talking about, oh, I'm trying to work on my family. I don't know why people are saying weird stuff. Oh, okay, so you want more. You want more. I'm going to give you more. Yeah, he's definitely continuing to try to rope you back into conversations. Um, he definitely wants you to continue to pay attention to him. That's very evident. Yeah, like after I air him out a good, like uh, I might do the live with Scotian or whatever. I'm going to do that one last thing. But after that, like, that's it. Like he's getting no more from me at all. Like I, I know. Do you mind I, if I, if I can, um, because like through, through his name being a tad, that's why, for example, no jumper didn't even release the, the only fans thing that we did afterwards. Yeah. I, was like, I, I didn't even, Adam was like, honestly, he's a loser. I don't even think I want to put his face on my only fans. I'm like, right. So 
And then Adam, too, he was like, he literally said he never wants to check in the studio. He's like, the guy's a weirdo. He's like, the only reason we allowed him there was because of me. Like, bro, I have messages. Me and Adam talk shit about the man the entire time while I'm with check talking shit about him. Like, this guy is a fucking clown. And I was like, I'll bring him and watch how, watch how he's, like, dick sucking. Um, Dina, I know you said, I, I'm really hoping you go live with Scotian today. Do you mind if I join you on that Instagram live? Who's talking? Angel, Scorpio. Okay, yeah. I mean, awesome. he'll be, I think he'll be hosting the live. Actually, I think I'm going to host it, actually, and have him join. Okay. Me. So that I can continue. I just I, I want I have questions and stuff and I know some people here like have questions and I'm just kind of curious because I know he's been talking and everything and obviously be totally respectful and, and kind and courteous because you'll be hosting it. But I just wanted to see if maybe I can like talk to him and just kind of get like a feel like how he's doing because I saw he was kind of like rough yesterday with that live with Winter Haven. So I just kind of just want to see if I can yeah, uh, ask him questions and stuff. Yeah, look my friend Panama in here. I love her. <laughs> Anyway, Panama's been around for a lot of it, too. So she's witness to his clout chasing and his broke assness. That's what's so funny. <coughs> he keeps her blocked on Instagram, but acts like he doesn't know it's her. Like, oh, I never blocked her. Like, dude. And then after we said something, suddenly she was unblocked. I'm like, nigga, stop. Because she be watching everything. Like, Panama's so quiet, but she be lurking. She be seeing it all. So she's witnessed a lot of it. The nigga's a fucking loser. Is that baby Panama? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I... Uh, feel free. Do you mind if I add her? Um, if she wants. No, to no. I, yeah, Scorpion, okay. you are a co-host for every reason. So awesome. Um, while you do that, I have a question, Zena. It's Diana. Uh, regarding and Scorpion, uh, just so you know, I am gonna kind of be half paying attention. So you are definitely in charge here. Just wanted to let you know I'm gonna be bear not paying too much attention, but I want you guys to continue. No talking. worries. No worries. I got it. Um. I got it. Baby I, Panama, I sent you a request, so it's up to you if you want to hit accept, and then you'll be up on the panel, too. I'm not sure if she's still in here. She gets... She so, does, yeah, I have a question. I think she Can does hear me? internet. She's not on the internet. Same as my best friend that I live with. Same thing. So when they speak up and they say, yes, I heard this, this, that, and third, they don't care about attention. They stay anonymous. Like, they just know what they hear. Yeah, totally understandable. Catalyst, go ahead. I think she I left. Think she left. Yeah. So yeah, regarding the the allegations you made on check driving Melanie's car to go pick her up from work, did he call you that night and was like, "Hey, I have like Prince in the car with me," or do you know that he was babysitting? He called me and, and, and he was getting drunk, drunk as fuck, and I had to pick, pick her up. And I'm like, "You're drunk driving," and I was like, "And where's Prince?" And he said, "Prince is in the back." That is so crazy. My mind is like so that he would do that. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking loser. Yeah. I should, I should echo. Yeah, someone was echoing really bad. I'm not too sure who that was, so I apologize. Um, hopefully we can get Zena back and then we can continue on. I'm, I'm just mind blown at that. Like, to be honest, I'm completely mind blown that, that Melanie would even allow that. That's just crazy. I mean, but to be honest, are we really surprised? I mean, she's just doesn't seem no, to have the I'm right not. tools to make the best, you know, choices for her son. But it's it's but it's heartbreaking to hear. And I believe yeah. it. He's manipulating her. He's manipulating her. That's all he's doing is manipulating her. But um yeah, we're gonna do the live and everything. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yes, I can, can hear you. Catalyst, I think you're the one that's echoing, honey. But, yeah, we're going to do the live and everything for sure. But um, uh, right now, I'm going to freaking take a shit real quick, finish cleaning. So, y'all continue this. I'm going to hop off real quick. And then I'll post whenever. Um, shoot, me a, a, yeah, shoot me a yeah. DM when you're ready, and I'll be happy to join you.